Thanks everybody for coming to this award ceremony. Yeah. <laughs> we have five awards uh, provided by our sponsors. Uh, the awards are SEPTI Access and SEPTI for uh, the screenings for our short film programs. Um, France Television also for our short films uh, in, the, in our programs. And uh, two other uh, awards for um, Oltre Corto provided by Proxima Milano and uh, Sardegna Film Commission. We start with uh, SEPTI and SEPTI Access with the CEO of uh, SEPTI and SEPTI Access, uh, Federico Spoletti. We will present uh, his company. Please, Federico, puoi mettere il sito? Good evening. I'll be very fast. Uh, and I just want to explain why we decided to um, assign these two awards and, and thank you to Jacopo for accepting this. Uh, and there are two awards that are connected with accessibility of your films. Uh, the first one is uh, um, an award of um, uh, accessible versions, which means uh, audio description for the blind or visually impaired and uh, uh, subtitling for the hard of hearing. Uh, usually we think that this is a problem of small numbers, but that's not true. Uh, one in six people right now, and this is a percentage that is going to grow, is affected by a sensory disability at, in some moment in their lives. So this is an audience that needs to be catered, particularly in, in, in a world where we fight to develop audiences. This is an audience that is also interesting uh, under the economic point of view. It's a, it's a market, it's a big growing market. So we thought that uh, assigning an award uh, of an accessible content for your film is, uh, could, could be a, a, a good way to raise awareness about young filmmakers about this, um, this problem. I don't like to say problem but about this sort of audience. The other one is connected with another company of ours. It's called SubT. It's an intralingual subtitling company. You provide, uh, we provide subtitles in all European languages, plus um, Japanese, Korean, Mandarin, and Arabic. And uh, the reason why we decided to assign this award is that usually filmmakers spend probably years of their life developing a project, but then what, what I realize in being in this business for 15 years is that they, they don't seem really to be particularly interested in how their film is transferred to foreign audiences. So, and uh, there are interesting uh, research studies now that, that shows that uh, revenues coming from a film are generated for more than 50% by audiences that see that film in, in a language which is different from the original language. So, uh, and you all know that translations right now is done uh, usually in a very short time with a very small fee, uh, possibly by a, a translator or a subtitler or, or uh, anyway, someone that doesn't, doesn't have any connection with the uh, creative team. And the effect of this is that sometimes the vision of the author is not really transferred to the foreigner audiences. And what the, the, the foreigner audiences saw is something that could be rather different. It's always different because, you know, it's also subtitles in a way uh, compromise the vision, no doubt about that. Uh, but, but it's something that needs to be taken into consideration and I hope that young filmmakers uh, pay a little bit more attention uh, to this. And also, um, we support, uh, I don't know if you ever heard of this, uh, there is a new uh, model, a new theory that is going to be uh, pushed right now anyway, is, is, is going to be spread uh, rather quickly. It's called accessible filmmaking, and it's a model that tries to integrate translation since inception, since the, since the first moment when you develop the project. Uh, also because, as I said before, right now translation is relegated to the distribution stage, and so we have the problems that I mentioned before. So the idea is to have a sort of a director of accessibility, where by accessibility we mean not only um, 
disabled, the, um, sensory disabilities, but also translation. We all are disabled in a way if we are in a country where we don't speak the language. And, uh, and this is a new model that is going to be launched and supported by the BFI, the British Film Institute in London, and then promoted all over the world. So if you are interested, uh, I think it's very interesting because I think that filmmakers should know that if they edit their film in a certain way, part of their audiences will not catch some things. We all know already that only from three to five percent of a frame is actually seen by our eyes. If we have subtitles added to that, of course that percentage uh, goes lower and lower. So this is something that uh, I was keen to let you know. But now the awards. The first award is uh, the Sapti Access Award. We are talking about uh, um, sensory um, content um, um, accessible for visual and hearing impaired. And uh, we are giving accessible yeah. version in one language. I don't remember in which one. In two languages. In two languages. Yeah, oh, that's a mistake. Of creating <laughs> an accessible version of the winning film in either English or Italian. And uh, the award goes to. The award is going to, to plant a flag by Bobby Pierce. And who is I, not here, is not luckily. Here. We will send. While the Sapti Access, which means interling interlingual subtitles in a European language. Yeah, subtitling service for the winning film in one of the following European languages English, Italian, Spanish, German, Portuguese, or Polish. Yeah, I have to say that. Also Polish. Yeah. You're crazy. Also Polish. Okay, right. no, but this is just, you know. We actually cover all European languages, so we can change, we can discuss with the director. Also, because this short is speaking, is spoken already in, in Portuguese, and it's called the Circo do Amor by Miguel Clara Vascolens. Cancelos is here. Congratulations! I think it's it's a wonderful film. And we well, really, uh, on behalf of all of us in Subti, we were really very impressed. Yeah, first, thank you very much. First, I would like to, to thank to, to the festival, to the short film market, to invite me uh, to this great uh, moment. I've been uh, here and I'm very, very happy. And uh, yeah, it's very nice. I, in fact, I always uh, review the subtitles of my film in in, in English or French, because I am very keen of how the film will be read from most of the audience that is much larger than the Portuguese public. I, I, I ex always expect that. So yeah, I'm Thank very you. happy with, uh, with the award. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Picture, picture, please. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Federico is not on the platform, I think. So if you want to contact him, if you want to contact him. There are two websites. One is called uh, sapti.com. And then from that website, you can jump to saptiaccess.com if you need any information about accessible filmmaking or, or if I can be of any help. Uh, you don't necessarily need to come to us, but I think it's important that you pay attention to the quality of your translations. Thank you. Thank you, Federico. The second award, the second award is provided by France Television. Um, unluckily, uh, Aurélie Chenet, uh, who is in charge uh, for short films uh, um, in France Television, uh, couldn't come, but she chose to give two prizes instead of one. So. The film selected by France Television will be included in the program Libre Cours broadcast on France 3. So the first one, uh, the first prize goes to Instinto by Esteban Garita Varela, who is not here. And the second one. goes to Gozal by Soyel Amir, Amir Sharifi from Ira, Iran. Soyel, come here. Take the mic. Oh, um, 
checked. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Um, first of all, I have to thank uh, Azad and all my cast and crew who helped me to uh, make this film. And uh, um, uh, then I have to thank uh, Enrico Venucci, Massimiliano, and Jacobo, uh, who gave me the, the chance to be here. And at the end, France TV. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you all. That's really an honor. So it's the moment of Proxima Milano. Please, Andrea Mazera, join us. Join me, join us. So. Please, Andrea. Ah. A few words on what Proxima is. Proxima provides the, the, um, the VR showcase that you can see in um, the other room. Please. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Jacopo. Um, so I'm Andrea Mazera, general manager of Proxima Milano. We are one of the leading VFX studios, post-production studios in Italy. Um, since 2014, we, also, we opened a business unit dedicated to the extended reality immersive uh, content that you can uh, try, feel, just behind the, that wall. And uh, I'm here as main partner of, of Torino Shopping Market. I'm really proud and curator of that area. So um, I have a message from our colorists because we decided to, uh, to give this important uh, award for color correction. I, I explained the award before. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. A color correction session as a special award. The color correction, uh, correction session will be conducted at the Proxima Milano Studios and must take place not later than 20 months after the TSFM 2018, the content should be provided in compliance with international standards and match the technical requirements and schedule of Proxima Milano. Yeah. And uh, I have a message from my senior colorist, and I don't know if there are somebody from the production company, but okay, I'm, I'm reading. Um, Timmy Soara and the terrible facts that happened in 19... Maybe we have to say the title before. Uh, okay, uh, but maybe somebody doesn't know about this, so... Okay, as you want. No, no, please, the title before. Okay, so we are proud to uh, give our uh, color grading TK4K award to uh, Emergency Exit. By Bogdan Murishan. By Bogdan Murishan. <laughs> Who is and, not here, uh, luckily. Okay, just... Just a few seconds because the, the subject, uh, how do you say, uh, involve us a lot and especially our work colorist. Uh, because Timmy Soara, uh, I don't know if you know, but is and the terrible facts that happened in 1989 in uh, Romania uh, is a name that still brings back of our memory uh, of a dark past. Um, this is why we really like the idea of watching those events through the eyes of ordinary people people who usually get lost on the great stage of history. And there are not so many documentary or other content that explain what happened in that period. So that's why we decided to uh, invest and give the chance to create a good feature films with a good color correction. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, as I said at the beginning, the prize is uh, for uh, an ultra corto project. Uh, Thank you, Andrea. Thank you so much. The photo? A photo for, for us also. <laughs> there is no Why Bogdan. Not? Yes. La mandiamo. La mandiamo a Bogdan. Ci mettiamo Bogdan. Thank we you. put Bogdan in post production. Yes. The last but not least, the Sardegna Film Commission. And I call Manuela Bellizzi from Sardegna Fondazione Sardegna Film Commission for another award for Ultra Court for a project. The Fondazione Sardegna Film Commission will award the Experience Sardegna Prize worth Euro 5000 in services to the best ultra corto project. The prize consists in an exploratory trip to the island fully paid by the Fondazione Sardegna Film Commission for three members of the project group accompanied by a local lo location, major, location manager. An excellent opportunity to discover one of the most fascinating, mysterious 
and film-friendly lands of Europe. Sardegna Film Commission, you have something to say before? It's not, it's not my thing to be on stage, so sorry. <laughs> um, uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, um, Torino Short Film Lab. Uh, sorry, <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming, Sardinia. <laughs> I want to thank, uh, sorry, uh, Torino Short Film Market. And uh, so it's not my thing to be oh on my, stage, I'm so joking. sorry. Um, Torino Show Film Market and Jacopo Kessa for this uh, for giving us this opportunity, and um, uh, I want to thank you uh, on behalf of uh, our director who unfortunately wasn't able to be here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, uh, we are very proud to award uh, this prize to. Uh, to uh. <laughs> Please read. Yes, to uh, Babylon by Keith uh, Deliguero, and uh, I think uh, we are. Gail Osorio is here uh, from Philippines, <laughs> from Philippines Islands. Please, please, the delegation, join us. <laughs> You want to say something? We'd like to thank uh, Torino Short Film Market and, <laughs> and the whole curator, the curatorial team, the whole staff behind the market. Uh, we <laughs> didn't expect we'll get in and fly in all the way from Philippines and Thailand. And yeah, now we're going to Sardinia. Sardinia. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So stay here and all the winners on the stage, please, again, all the sponsors and all the crew, uh, Eugenie, Giulia, Bianca, Rossella, Alessandro, Massi, Enrico, for a picture, for the final picture. The final, I mean, the last one. <laughs> please show your awards. Winners in front. Thank you. Thank you for coming. <laughs>